Hi everyone, I'm Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com and this is Critique My Query, um, a video column that we have been offering at the Writer Magazine for some time now. If you're interested in having your query letter critiqued here, all you have to do is, um, my email is below, and just uh, send it in an email to me, and I will put it on the list. Uh, the list is fairly long. If you don't hear from me within, or if it isn't critiqued here at the site within a month, um, give me a... Uh, send me an email um, and if I can give you any update on that then I, I will at that time. Um, but it's always a good idea to nudge me. Okay, let us, if I find my glasses, let's get to this letter. Okay. <clears throat> Dear Agent, Cat Gray is a reformed queen bee desperately struggling, struggling to cope with her clicks bullying after her clicks bullying leads a classmate to commit suicide. All Cat want is to trade the vicious and conceited world of the in-crowd for a normal life where she can be, just maybe, become a better person. Cat moves from California to Milton, Massachusetts to live with her mother and start over. Instead, she immediately sparks a war with Milton Academy's resident Queen Bee, Hannah, when she steps in to protect a bullying victim. Cat's courage and compassion attract the attention of Blaze Ward, Hannah's ex-boyfriend and warlock. Blaze is also the leader of the in-crowd like no other. Uh, the Brotherhood, a group of five young warlocks charged with defending their race and humanity from a demonic, mystical adversary named Seth. Cat challenges Blaze to become both a better man and a better leader while he helps her find the redemption she once thought was out of reach. But when Hannah teams up with the tormented school outcast to destroy her, Cat becomes a hostage in the age-old war between the Brotherhood and Seth. Blaze must choose between duty and desire to save her life, uh, while Cat must find the strength to overcome the past to, to have a prayer of survival. Fire and Ice is a standalone paranormal YA novel of 128,000 words. Fire and Ice was one of the 100 uh, semifinalists out of 10,000 entries in the 2012 Amazon Breakthrough Novelist Award Contest. I would be happy to send additional in, uh, material at your request. Thank you for your consideration. Sincerely. Okay. Um, so what do I think of Fire and Ice? Let me put on... Okay, so what do I think of Fire and Ice? Um, so this is a paranormal YA. Okay, now I will tell you that paranormal is not my thing. I don't read it. Uh, but I get so much of it here that when... Uh, usually when I find words that, that seem as though they fit into the query letter, but I have no idea what they're talking about, um, <clears throat> I will Google it, which I did. Uh, you'll notice in the first paragraph that she mentions Queen Bee. Well, in our vernacular or in real world, you know, Queen Bee is a tough girl who intimidates and bullies or, or, or could bully. So I just kept going with that image. Um, but I come to find out when we discovered that this is paranormal and that Kat's um, new friend Blaze is a warlock, then I went, oh, wait a minute, this is a paranormal, and so maybe Queen Bee is um, a word within that lexicon, and you know, I think it is. Um, so uh, that really changes this for me. I'm going to assume that this author is sending this to agents who uh, know terms like Queen Bee and Seth, which is another paranormal term that I looked up. Um, if she or he isn't, then you want to be very careful that you do not use words that um, agents who aren't well versed in this uh, in this genre uh, would not know or would be thrown off by. So that's just a heads up. I'm going to assume that you're pitching this to agents who love paranormal and they know about queen bees and they know about. Um, you know, who Seth is, this this kind of mythical figure in, in that world. Um, but I didn't. So um, given that, I reread the letter again. And um, the reason why I did that is because the last paragraph, she says that this, uh, this um, novel was made, you know, made a contest cut at Amazon. And I'm very familiar with that, uh, with that uh, contest that just, I think, is coming to a close pretty soon. Um, and I believe that the way that you got through the first round was through a query letter only. So if this was their query letter, then it must be good enough to have gotten her to the second round. For me, it was a bit confusing. Um, 
but it could be that I'm just not as familiar with paranormal as um, other people um, in our profession are. I would suggest, though, that this um, author lead this query letter with the last paragraph. Let us know that this has gotten some acclaim, because I think that that would just perk up anybody's ears, whether the agent was uh, was new to paranormal or knew all about paranormal, um, or was just an expert in YA and wanted to dip her fingers into paranormal, uh, knowing that this made it through uh, the first round of a, of a, a contest that's gotten a lot of press, I think that that's a good hook right there. With the rest of it, um, I'm going to defer saying anything else. It seems to me like it is um, a redemption story and uh, that it's good and good versus evil. Um, I was just a bit um, bogged down in the one, two, in the third paragraph. Um, but again, that could just be me. And um, I'm not going to say much more about it because uh, we do try to keep these to six minutes. So I hope that this is helpful at some level. Again, I would definitely open this. If you haven't pitched it already, I'd pitch that third paragraph and, and um, you know, start out strong with um, the accolades that I've already won about this, uh, this novel that, um, you know, I'm pitching to an agent. I would really lead with that. I don't think you can go wrong doing that. Um, until the next time, be well. Keep writing.